What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In a recent video, I did a product review of this condenser mic from Lazada. And um, to cut it short, I really didn't give this a high score. However, in this same video, uh, I read some comments. And those comments coming from John Sperer and Jerome Rico both mentioned that I probably didn't give this guy a fair chance. And why? Because I was comparing it with this Scarlett 2i2 condenser mic studio. And uh, this one was connected to my uh, Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, which has a phantom power uh, with it. And condenser mic needs phantom power for them to work properly. And this is a condenser mic. And during that test, when I was doing that review for that video, I didn't plug this into any interface that has phantom power. I plug this in directly to my computer using this cable that was provided in the package. It's an XLR to 3.5 mm cable. So because of this, you know, it's a 3.5 mm, uh, mm cable. I thought, well, plug this directly to the computer and I was wrong. It's a condenser mic. Condenser mic needs phantom power. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to compare again this condenser mic from Lazada with this condenser mic uh, that I am using when I'm recording my YouTube videos and we will connect them both to this audio interface with phantom power and that way we are doing an apple to apple comparison. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this. So before we actually proceed with the test. I'm going to show you the settings that we are going to have for both of the microphones. So this is our Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. And this is what we have here for the settings. Let me just zoom that in. So our phantom power is on. And then our gain is around maybe around 65% of the 100% max uh, setting. So that's what we're going to have. So we will be using the same cable that I'm currently using for this mic, this red cable. So what we're gonna do later is we will literally just unplug this cable, this, this cable from this Scarlett condenser mic. And now we'll plug this in, plug that red cable to this uh, condenser mic from the Zada. So since we're already connected with this mic, with this Scarlett mic, I'm just gonna do that test that we did previously. So as you can see, this one is not connected. The Lazada condenser mic's not connected. It's just a Scarlett 2i2. So let's do that. Uh, what I did before was just count. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm probably again away uh, around eight to 10 inches away from the mic. Uh, while I am doing that test. So now uh, we will unplug this cable. I'm gonna show it to you while I'm unplugging it and then I'll connect it to this condenser mic uh, from Lazada. So let's do that. All right, so we are now using this condenser mic from Lazada. As you can see, uh, our settings, uh, they're the same. We didn't change anything. We just literally unplugged that cable from this mic, from our Scarlett 2i2, to, and then plug it into this mic, our uh, condenser mic from Lazada. So um, I am same, probably around eight to, ten, uh, eight to 10 inches away from the mic and we'll just do the same thing. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that's it for this mic, okay? So let me plug this cable again and then plug it back to that Scarlett Studio 2i2.
All right, so we are again plugged in to our Scarlet 2i2. The next test that we will do is again the instrument, right? So let me just get my guitar and then we'll do that uh, instrument test. One moment. Okay, so I have my guitar now and I am using the Scarlet 2i2 Studio condenser mic. I am probably 18 inches away from the mic right now. Same for the guitar. So I'm just gonna play some music and then that's, that's the test. So let's go. Right, so that's the guitar recording by the Scarlet 2Y2. So again, I'm going to change this mic. I'm going to plug this cable to that Lasada condenser mic. So let me just do that. Okay, so we are now recording via the uh, Lasada condenser mic. So same settings, I didn't change anything from the Scarlet 2i2 uh, audio interface and then same, probably around 18 inches away from the mic. So let's try to play the same thing. So that's the Lazada condenser mic with the musical instrument. Alright? Okay, so I'm gonna plug that mic again because that's uh, what I want to use for uh, to continue this recording. Okay? Alright, so actually I'm still recording via the condenser mic from Lazada uh, because I listened to the audio a while ago based on that vocal test and also the instrument test and um, I can hear a lot of hissing sound uh, using this mic and um, I thought that setting was for my Scarlett 2i2 right for this uh, condenser mic from Scarlett and I thought I want to change something on my audio interface to change it the setting for this mic and just see whether it's actually gonna be better so I just want to show to you guys the setting that I have now uh, on this audio interface. So, uh, so if you remember a while ago, this one actually was at around 65%. Uh, so let me just zoom that in. Right. Okay. So this was actually around the gain that I had uh, for my Scarlett Studio 2i2. For that setting that we had a while ago was around 65%. And uh, I heard, I hear a lot of hissing sound coming from this. Uh, so I tried to um, to do it around what to to change that to around forty percent, maybe four out of ten. So and I thought that this is the optimal setting for this mic, and I had to be a little closer, uh, probably around four inches away from the mic. Uh, for it to be uh, the optimal uh, setting to get that optimal sound, right? So I want to give this guy an even fairer chance by, you know, applying a different setting for it uh, so that, you know, it, it doesn't look like as if they were trying to make it look bad <laughs> in that sense. We want to, if we are using this, we want to make sure that it is actually the right or we, it has the right setting on the other peripherals that we're using it with. 
So I don't know what you guys think of this setting. Is this better? Does it sound better to you guys or not? But I leave that to you. Okay. So I'll go back to that to my Scarlet 2i2. Let me just again rearrange all of this and uh, let's continue this discussion. That concludes our different tests for both of this mic as we compare them. Uh, I think it's time to give my final thoughts. Uh, yeah, this is a working mic. This mic can actually work. You just need phantom power. So this is a condenser mic. This is a condenser mic. They need phantom power. So if you are buying this mic, uh, you got to make sure, be mindful of that. Because if you have this, you also have to buy an audio interface that can give you that phantom power. So added cost, right? Uh, aside from that, in terms of the material itself, this mic stand is not very sturdy. So you might actually have to buy another one uh, for you to not be always worrying uh, that this mic uh, may actually uh, fall down while you are recording or streaming and then in terms of the sound i thought that the sound was a little bit thin uh even on that optimal settings that we did when we changed the setting on our audio interface just to match this uh it still uh sounded like it was uh, on the thinner side right i felt like there was uh not a lot of bass on that sound uh, comparing it to the Scarlet 2i2 but having said that uh, you gotta uh, make your expectation right right I mean this is an I mean this is not a not so cheap mic together with the audio interface uh, versus this mic you know this mic is just cost us around 1200 pesos this one, uh, when I bought it, was around, I think, if I remember it correctly, okay, around 15 to 18,000 pesos, well, together with the interface, okay? So this one, together with the interface, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be 18,000 pesos. So with that disparity in, in the uh, cost uh, or in the price of these two products, well, I should expect that this will perform better, right? But this is a working mic. You can use it. Uh, if that's the sound that you're looking for, uh, go, you can buy it at that price point. I don't think it's that bad. All right. So yeah, that's it for the final thoughts. Again, shout out to, uh, uh, those that gave the, those comments in our, uh, comments section. So shout out again to, um, John Sferrer and Jerome Rico. Thank you for your comment. Uh, now we have this, I hope an apple to apple and fair comparison between these two products all right all right so before i finish this video i want to give you a preview of what's coming next we are going to be doing a comparison of different mics uh so that you can select what is the best for your need for your streaming or for you choosing and we are going to be comparing con this condenser mic versus a wired headset like this versus a Bluetooth headset like this, right? Versus this USB mic and versus this wireless headset that uses 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So on that video, we're going to be comparing the different mics and just see which mic will give us the best performance. All right. So I hope that gets you excited on that next video. Again, this is Commodic Reviews. I'll see you again. Peace out.